Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Aditya and welcome to HD Tech. And guys, in this particular video, let us discuss about the iPhone 13 lineup. Well guys, I personally believe that it is too much early to talk about this iPhone because after a couple of weeks, there is a WWDC event. But still guys, with this particular lineup, we are going to be seeing a absolute perfection. Well guys, we all know that nothing is ever perfect. But if you'll see in Apple's term, then finally, they are implementing few things that we always wanted. The main star of the show is the promo display well guys with the iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max you are going to be seeing a LTPO panel so because of this you know the display is going to be having that ability to change the refresh rate well with the iPhone 13 lineup we are going to be seeing four new iPhones the iPhone 13 the iPhone 13 mini the iPhone 13 Pro and the iPhone 13 Pro Max well many people will get confused like before couple of months Apple discontinued the production of the iPhone 12 mini because we all know that it is not selling that well but now many people will get confused that why is Apple remaking the mini well the simple answer is behind every single iPhone Apple spends two to three years of overall development so the upcoming iPhone 13 has already started its development in later part of 2019 so technically the mini iPhone is gonna be coming this year we don't know how many people will buy the mini but the reality is rest of the three iPhones are definitely coming well guess if you're following all of the Apple news lately then you might be familiar that overall camera bump in the iPhone 13 and the 13 mini is going to be pretty much ugly. Well guys I don't know about you but this particular design is absolutely awful. Well it is kind of a basic design. Well right now there is nothing confirmed. So in the in the next couple of months we might see a completely different design but the reality is if Apple will go with like this kind of camera design then it will not at all look pleasing. But other than that now let us focus on the iPhone 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max. And guys, recently Liu from Unbox Therapy made an unboxing video of an iPhone 13 Pro dummy. So it is pretty much a replica. But with the help of that dimensions, we are getting a clear idea about the overall camera size. Well guys, in the iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max, the overall diameter of all of the three camera lenses is going to be increasing. So this year, we are going to be seeing even more bigger camera. Well, right now, we have absolutely no idea about what Apple is doing with the iPhone 13 Pro's camera. But it is pretty much sure that the overall sensor size is going to be increasing. Well guys, with the current iPhone 12 Pro Max, already the sensor is pretty much bigger and with the upcoming 13 lineup we might expect that exact same sensor even in the iPhone 13 Pro so let me know in the comment section what you are waiting in this particular iPhone but with this particular lineup or with the iPhone 13 Pro series you are talking about much more refinements and the best one has to be the display well we all know from the iPhone 10 onwards Apple is using the exact same notch well this year we are finally going to be seeing a smaller notch so to get a smaller notch what apple is doing well they are taking the earpiece and placing it in the upper portion so it is not going to be in the middle and then they are you know shrinking the size of all of the sensors well for a advanced face id they cannot remove any of the sensors so they cannot remove the dot projector the ambient light sensor or even the proximity sensor so for a you know true or a very trusted facial recognition system they need all of this kind of sensors so what they are doing is they are you know placing the earpiece above and cramping up all of the sensors in the smaller space well with this year's iPhones we already know what we are getting well guys the overall squared industrial design is going to be there the lidar sensor is going to be there and overall the entire exterior finish and all of the materials are going to be pretty much the same but we are going to be seeing a 120 Hz LTPO display we are going to be seeing a smaller notch and a way bigger camera system. Well guys, later last year, we got this information that Apple is working behind a complete portless iPhone, but this particular technology is for future. And Apple also knows that recently, they have even removed the charging adapter from the box. So they will not take this concrete step of removing the charging port. So it is pretty much clear that with the 2021 iPhone lineup, you are going to be seeing the lightning connector. But speaking of the future, like next year or next to next year, we might see a complete difference. But the reality is, as if for now, the iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max are going to be pretty much the same. 
the main change is going to be in terms of the display, the notch, the camera and the overall battery backup because there are expectations that now Apple is working behind the A15 Bionic chip and with this particular chipset, it is going to be much more energy efficient. So time will tell us. But as if for now, this is the latest update. Well guys, also recently Apple launched all of the iMacs and all of them are having vibrant colors. So expect a similar color palette with the upcoming iPhone 13. Well guys, let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts about these particular changes. And guys, please, if you have watched this video till the end, then please subscribe to the channel because it motivates me a lot to make more of this kind of videos. So guys, I will meet you with another beautiful video. Until then, peace.